Okay guys, this is the 30 pieces to the closet that we are going to hopefully install all today. They just left at like 9.20ish. It's another company that does the delivery for Ikea. Say the thing. 
things that you said to me yesterday. So this has been a lot of trial and error, a lot of holes and holes. It's not even funny guys, but it's so crazy. So um, I bought this leveler from Home Depot. You obviously don't need something like this, but for somebody like me, I just wanna make sure the holes were in the right area, but I think the floor isn't leveled. So um, it was, a lot because as you can see over here let me get closer for you guys it's snug let me get my hand out the way it's snug on this side but on this side is a little gap um but it's not going anywhere um because of the curved edge so I guess that's in place so that way you can um have enough room just in case if it's not leveled I don't know but you also have this on the ground to keep it off the ground. And I love it so that way I didn't have to take the baseboards off. But um, the top is um, flush with the top. Um, and I actually don't know if this one. I think I need to take this part off because I can see that there's a space in the front. And the lines are meeting in the back. There's no lines in the front like how I did with this one. So I guess the back is supposed to be more flush with the back of this. So I'm
Violet Percocet, Percocet, Violet Percocet, Represent, gotta represent, chase a chick, never chase a bitch, bad stars, fuck your bad stars, bad stars, fuck your bad stars, Percocet, Violet Percocet, chase a chick, never chase a bitch, Violet Percocet, Violet, violet, percocets. Violet, 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 percocets. Bad stuff, yeah. Fuck your mad stuff, man. Bad stuff, yeah. Violet, 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 to a whole nother domain Out the bottom I'm a living fool Ain't compromising Half a million on the coup Draw a house Looking like a rule Graduated I was on the roof Pink matter I can barely move Ask about it I'm gon' bust a move Reed James 33 chains Ocean now Cruising big scan Top of God, that's a liability. Hit the gas, yeah. Who's the man I'm drilling? Be it from purchase it. Be it from the 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 purchase it. Okay, everybody. So this is kind of the um, finished product. I have my drawers over here. Um, where I kind of already started putting stuff in here. I'm going to put my night clothes over here. But I can push this back. And I guess like try to fit something else here. Um, that's for that drawer. I have my jeans here. I'm going to eventually get a dresser as well. To put on the side. My room is kind of junky. Because I've been trying to put this together. But this is just an overview. Um, I have most of um, my clothes that aren't too long here. And um, this is going to be my underwear drawer here. And then these are like some of my shorts and some of my um, active wear here. On this um, long side. Okay. Um, so, so right here I have my long, um, I guess, hanging area right here. Um, so you guys, it really wasn't hard. I'm going to show you all the things that I feel like you don't necessarily need, but made my life much easier with putting this together. Um, I have my longer, um, dresses and things of that nature in the middle. And all I have to do is put this in the middle and I have two more shelves that I have to put up in the middle and, my long wear is kind of long, so I have to figure out how I'm going to put those there. Um, this is nowhere near perfect. Um, the closet can really be painted, and that's not something that I'm rushing to do, is buy paint. Even though paint isn't too expensive, but um, this just shows you, like, as long as you have, like, this size closet or even something bigger, you can fit something like this in your closet. Um, I feel like it makes everything look a little bit more organized. Um, I have some of my shoes at the bottom. I still have a little bit of space over here. So what I think I'm going to do is get um, some hanging, um, something to hang over here. So that way I can put my purses and have room for my purses. My winter clothes is up in the attic right now. But truthfully, this house doesn't give me a lot of um storage space so i have some shoe boxes up there to take up um to utilize some of the space 
but you can't even see back there once everything is like pushed you can't even see the closet guys so that's just something to think about uh, with if you you thought about getting this organizer this is just a good way to show you um you have drawer space um i did three drawers on each side and um it made it easier to have the the closet that has the drawers exposed um to have this um set up and then you can obviously push this back or even take these doors off if you wanted to um you can take these doors off if you have doors like this or if you have the pull-out doors, then it's not going to be a problem with having more shelves and things of that nature. I really wanted four of these, but when I did the dimensions of my closet and um, really seeing that I, didn't, I wasn't going to have enough space to get three, I just put everything in the middle. And then there's some space on this side as well. Um, it, does, it doesn't have like a lot of arm space. But um, if you need it, you can put hats back here. Um, you can put more purses back here. Um, the sky's the limit with getting space. And then the shoes can go at the bottom. Um, so this is just how all this stuff is. So now let me show you what I use. Okay, now that you've done seeing um, me put the closets together, I tried to put as many clips as possible. Um, so to tell you the truth, it was a little bit frustrating <laughs> because I felt like I had to keep going back and forth to Home Depot. Um, the white bracket that I um, put up in the closet, I feel like that was the toughest part. Once that was up, everything um, I felt like went into place really good. The drawers, it didn't take much time to get those put together. Um, but um, it really wasn't hard. Um, once that white bracket was up, I would suggest, um, I couldn't find my tape measure, so I kind of used the door and put it where the bracket was. It made like little pencil marks on the wall um, to see where I was supposed to drill. But I feel like a tape measure is something that you definitely need for a project like this. Um, the doors go on a latch um, on the white bracket. And once that's sturdy, everything else comes into place. You can start putting the doors up. You can start putting your shelves in. Everything goes on pretty much um, very fast, quick, and easy from there to me. Um, I'm going to show you. I'm going to try to link everything that I purchased. I didn't buy everything on Amazon, so I'll try my best with trying to get everything that I bought from um, the Home Depot. But this is um, something where you can, um, it has like a little leveler on it. Um, so you can make sure that everything is leveled out. Um, you turn it on, press this little button, and um, it creates a line on your wall. Let me see if I can show you that. Um, it creates a line on the wall, if you can see. Um, it creates a straight line. You can make sure that it's leveled. Um, this is from the Home Depot. It was less than, I believe it was less than $25. Um, this is something I feel like you can use to hang up pictures and make sure that you're putting your um, your nails in in the right area. Um, I feel like this was very essential. This is something that you don't have to just use for that. This is something that you're going to take use for, whether you're in a rental apartment, whether you're in a house. Um, I think this is something that's really good. Um, you, I thought this was. I thought I was purchasing a stud find, you guys. I really did. Um, and the good thing is, like, you can nail it to the wall. So it has like these little nails. You put it in the hole in the back and you um, nail it to the wall to make sure that it stays sturdy so that way you don't, want, you don't have to hold it to get the line. I think that's really cool. And it makes like a really tiny, like really fine needle in the wall. So you're not putting a whole bunch of wall, um, holes in the wall if you wanted to do it. There's a suction cup on here as well. Um, suction cup didn't work. Um, but there's also a metal piece. So if you are by the nails and the studs, it kind of held up for me with trying to do that. But um, I didn't really have a lot of studs in that wall. Um, but if you don't have something like this, you can, I purchased this level as well. Um, and I believe this was like $3 from the Home Depot to make sure that all your nails is um, level. Don't need this if you have this. 
um i purchased both just in case for like little i, I just purchased the house um so i just wanted to make sure i had different things um i feel like you definitely with purchasing a house you need a power drill i had a small drill and i tried to put together um a pantry closet well i use it as a pantry closet but it's like a bookcase with glass shelves if you watch my um kitchen tour you'll see the glass shelf that i have as my pantry i needed something like this so i had um borrowed from a friend her drill um and i realized that i didn't want to keep borrowing her drill and she needs her drill so i purchased my own drill and it was on sale um on amazon one day and i was like you know what i need to get it so i'm just gonna get it power drill is definitely a necessity um it came with the bag and it came with um an extra battery pack so that way if you're doing a big job that requires um a lot of drilling you're not gonna have to worry and be cautious about your battery dying and you having to like wait and then charge it so that's a good thing now when i went to the home depot um i found a lot of people that helped out a lot um i bought this and i will definitely this is something that i feel like if you're not using studs this can go into brick it can go into concrete it can go into towel and it can go into um your walls so if you so if you need something drilled i bought a hundred just because i felt like i was going back and forth to the home depot um to get the little five pack um i went to home depot three times um to get more and i didn't want to overbuy and i didn't need to overbuy but i ended up eventually overbuying because it has this little screw in it um it makes the perfect hole and this is not something that came with my drill and maybe some drills that come with these but this comes in this pack they have one that has 15 of these um which that's all you really need for a closet job like that i got 100 because um i didn't realize with this it was gonna make my life so much easier um once i got this um me making the holes in the wall became so much easier i got so frustrated trying to put these little plastic things in the wall now this is something if you're drilling something in your wall and you're not you're not putting something to a stud um meaning the wood um panel that is in your wall you need something like this so you put this in the wall you drill the hole with this then you hammer this lightly into the wall and it expands so that way whatever you're drilling to the wall is not going to move you don't have to worry about um it coming out of your wall because it's expands in the wall um and then you put the bracket the white bracket and this is for anything if you want to put um a dresser up or anything like that you'll notice that a lot of times these come with with it the ikea um it didn't come with the most of the pieces came with the the nails but the bracket did not come with its nails and they have um, a pack that you can purchase with them if you wanted to i don't live close to ikea so i didn't know that all the stuff wasn't going to come with nails so that white bracket to actually put everything on we put the doors on um it didn't come with these nails and this worked out for me um this is eight um by one fourth so you can purchase this at your local um home depot or lowe's if you wanted to i'm definitely going to make sure that i find that and link it but the nails go um perfectly in here once you drill it with the power drill you put that in the wall and it is not going anywhere okay guys um and then if you want i purchased this little stud finder as well this was about um nine dollars and you just press it and you slide across your wall it's going to light up a blue um red it's going to keep blinking red um once you find the stud it's not a lot of studs and my closet wall where all of the holes need to be made so that's why i purchased this and this worked um so that's pretty much all i feel like that you need it's not a whole bunch of expensive stuff you don't need a power drill but i think it's just easier to have the power drill to at least put that bracket up everything else you can just use um a hand like a little hand um, phillips if you want it 
but this i feel like made my life so much easier and i just wanted to put you guys on today you don't need to purchase all of this stuff but i think it's way easier for you to have it especially if you're doing it by yourself or you know if you're a couple and you're living in a house um or if you and your roommate are in a house you're two women you can definitely put this stuff together you don't have to do expert especially you don't want nobody in your house because of everything that's going on with the pandemic i think this made my life so much easier i've used the drill with so many little projects putting things up on the wall, wall since then so i think um, when you purchase a home you definitely should get a power drill definitely that's like one of the first things you should get um i still have to get a ladder but i think that's something else that you need um so yeah 